You too, what's poppin'? You too, what's poppin', man? It's your boy King Brill, and we back with another video, man. I'm so excited to be back, man. What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right, but we gonna get right into the video, man. I don't wanna waste y'all time. Y'all have been asking me so many questions about detangling my hair. I see y'all watching the old detangling video, so I figured that we run through it one more time, and I give you a few extra tips and tricks when you guys are detangling your hair. And we're gonna try to do it in a very organized fashion, all right? So the first question I wanna answer of y'all's is, why should I detangle my hair? Why is it important? Okay, so first of all, to get any fire hairstyle, whether it be curls, braids, twists, even before you get your head dreaded, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, pull it apart and section it the proper way and stuff. To get any fire hairstyle, you have to detangle your hair properly, all right? That's the number one reason why it's important. You're not getting nothing fire done to your head unless it gets detangled, all right? Number two, why do we have to get our hair detangled so much? Well, you know, anything left unto itself will become more discombobulated and more messed up, you know what I mean? Have you ever put like wires in a box? Or have you ever put a bunch of like thin chains into like a jewelry box and left them there? Well, they might not have been tangled when you first put them in there, but you leave them in there for, you know, two, three months, six months, seven months. The longer you leave them in there, the more tangled they're gonna get. Your hair is the exact same way, if not more so, you feel me? The only difference between your hair and those wires is that your hair shaft isn't as thick. What do you mean by that? And after so long of your hair being super tangled, a comb can't even get through your hair. It's even when you try to, no matter how long you take, eventually you're gonna get to that point of detangling when your a comb can't even get through your hair. And when a comb can't get through your hair and you're constantly, you know, pulling it, your hair is gonna just break off as opposed to gliding it through, you know what I mean? Detangle hair just grows faster, you feel me? When people got braids and twists and stuff, it's not just the tension that helps, it's just that your hair is pulled and braided in an organized fashion and each individual hair fiber is not tangled up. Hey man, just trust me, when your hair is detangled, it grows a lot faster and it looks a lot better. Okay, so this is my white boy for the day, you feel me? So getting your hair detangled especially matters with curls because when you got curly hair, you need your hair to do this right here. That's what a fire curl is. All right, if your head don't do this, you're not gonna have a fire curl. This happens so easily because it starts out like this. This is what it looks like when you have a straight piece of hair, detangled and all, all right? We're gonna put a D right here for detangled, all right? We're gonna put a T right here for tangled. This is what happens with tangled hair. When you put your, any curl regimen or any type of curling products in your hair, this is what's gonna happen to a detangled piece of hair. It's gonna look just like this. These organized curls, nice, neat, organized curls. C for curls, you feel me? Down here, this is what it looks like when you try to put that curly regimen or any type of curl products in right here. Even if you finger coil your hair while it's tangled up, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like a whole bunch of foolishness, you feel me? And you essentially wasting your cream. So this is not what we want. We want this, all right? Especially if you have curly hair. So you always wanna start out with being detangled. So now that we went over why you wanna detangle your hair, now we're gonna actually move on to how you actually detangle your hair, you know what I mean? And I got just the person to help me, help you learn how to detangle your hair. Samantha? Okay, so this beaut right here is named Samantha. Y'all go down in the comments and say, hey Samantha. Mm-hmm. Say hey. All right, now don't be weird, it's still a doll head, all right? Focus. But Samantha here is gonna help me help you learn how to detangle your hair. Okay, so now that y'all know Samantha and whatnot, the first tool that we're gonna go over is actually a detangling brush, all right? I went over this in one of the YouTube shorts, but in case you're a little late, you know what I mean? You want to have one of these, especially if you got thicker hair, you know what I mean? Why not just a regular wide tooth comb? A lot of you guys are asking this question, and I understand why. A wide tooth comb doesn't cause as much breakage, it usually goes through a lot easier, but what happens is your hair is not actually as detangled as it could be when you use a wider tooth comb. So when you use a smaller tooth comb, it's almost like impossible to go through without your hair catching on this thing. You're gonna be detangling forever because it's so small, man. Like it's gonna take you literally a day and a half to do it. Man, listen, you wanna get you a, a comb like this, right? Because technically on one, on one of these combs, it's a wide tooth comb, you feel me? One of them is a wide tooth comb, but you put two of them four of them, seven of them, eight of them together so that each time you brush, it's like four brushes going. So if I, this right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, equals one, you know what I'm saying? This thing is amazing and it bends, you feel me? When your hair catches a notch, this shit right here, you see that, that 
when your hair hits a knot, like you coming through it, boom, it's going. Matter of fact, look, I'm gonna show you right here. All right, so right here, we're looking at Samantha's hair right here, all right? So you can comb through with one of these regular combs, and what happens when it catches, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see this, there we go. When it catches a knot, the, the comb doesn't bend, so if you're too heavy handed, it's gonna, it's gonna pull. And just like that, you see that? It's already, we already got some of Samantha's hair in the comb, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that. You want a comb that's gonna bend. So even when it gets stuck, it's gonna let you know. It's gonna let you know, look at this, boom. Coming through, coming through, boom. It's gonna let you know that it's getting stuck. It's gonna bend, you see that? See how the comb bends? Wow, you see how that comb bends? It bends so you know that, oh, I need to go back. Boom, I need to let go. You see that? There's no hair in there. So as soon as it gets caught, oh, it's bending too much. It's bending too much, oh. That means I need to take it out and I need to start over at a much higher point, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all can see that. See that, boom, it's bending. Oh, oh, no, we don't wanna snag too much. We don't wanna snag too much, but we need to get something that doesn't bend quite as much, you feel me? So we make sure that there's no hair being pulled out of the, you know what I'm saying? Now, of course, in real life, you can't help but pull some of your hair out every time you detangle. That's kind of part of the game, but you want to limit it. And although you're not going to be that tender on your own head, because you you know, we got things to do. You're not going to spend all day trying to detangle and save every piece of hair. You save a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of times when you like, oh man, I might have bit off too much than I could chew. And instead of the comb snapping your hair, it's gonna just bend and you're gonna be like, okay, the, the comb is bending too much. So now let me start at a higher point. It's more forgiving to your hair, you feel me? And the next tool you need is something that give you some slip. Of course, y'all know, y'all seen it a million times. I'm gonna tell you about the real hydration treatment. This thing has slips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wet your hair with warm water and you're gonna add some of this in and then you're effectively gonna comb through your hair. This is gonna make it so that the comb slips through your hair without, you know what I'm saying, pulling your hair out. It's gonna minimize the amount of breakage you have from detangling your hair. You know what I'm saying? Now, you don't gotta get this, but you better find something or else your hair is gonna be on the floor and you're gonna detangle inefficiently. You know feel me? Once again, if you want a cop, we just restocked and I'm giving 10 of you guys a chance to get this for 25% off, but whichever one of you guys is the first one to use the code Samantha, that'll be the ones who get this for the discount. Leave a comment, go to the Rich Royals website and the first couple of y'all to use it, y'all get it for that discount. The rest of y'all got pay for price sorry but this is fire or you can use something else all right moving on all right so now that we've gone over you know the tools and stuff now we're gonna give you guys some actual techniques something that i do before i even wet my hair or add the conditioner to my hair and that thing is section sections are important now i'm gonna be real with you if you you six months or less in your hair journey you shouldn't worry nothing about sectioning six months or less if you can't pull your hair down in this patch your eyebrow you shouldn't even be concerned about sectioning it would be a hassle to section it's not worth it however you know you got a lot of hair as your head grows you know what i'm saying you're up around that eight a year if you got enough hair to braid you should probably think about maybe including some section in but you know section your hair if you got a lot of hair basically i'm gonna show you with the help of Samantha what sectioning should look like. All right, so Samantha, you ready? All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that directly middle part. You're gonna look at your nose, you know what I'm saying? She had a little booger right here, you know what I mean? We're gonna wipe that off. Then we're gonna split that right down the middle. What OGs normally do is they use the comb and they use it to section straight down the middle. So what we're gonna do is, you know what I'm saying? Samantha got hair like us, y'all. We're gonna try to go down here and we're gonna go through and we're gonna try to pull this down the middle, you know what I'm saying? That's the first thing we're gonna do. Boom, all right? And my part, that that, that, that was actually horrible, but that's the first thing you want to do. I need y'all to understand how much I actually love y'all and how much I actually want y'all to get y'all hair right. I'm a grown man. Y'all got me in here playing with dog babies, all right? So boom, we got this first middle part, and I know this looks ugly, but we're not trying to braid the hair. We're just trying to, you know what I'm saying, detangle it, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down this, all right? We're going to come down to the side. We got the middle. You will come down to the side, and we're going to split that motherfucker down the side. You know what I mean? We're just going to find it, find it, find it. Boom, boom, boom. She got hair like me, good lord. All right, here we go. Now that we found it, boom, we found it. We found our first section. Is this, is it focused? There we go. So we found our first section. So we went down the middle, boom. We went down the side, all right? Boom, move that out of the way, boom. So we got it, we got our first section. First thing we gonna do is we gonna go right here. We gonna put this on, we got this, and boom, we got our first section, all right? This right here is a section, you see that, boom? Cut down the middle, boom, all right, so boom. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. We got the middle part, then we're gonna go down this side, all right? Now, keep in mind, the more hair you got, you know what I'm saying, the longer your hair is, you're gonna need about six, set, six, eight sections, you know what I'm saying? I normally use about six to seven sections. Samantha here, she's probably about maybe, I give her like eight months in her journey, you know what I mean? You'll see the length that she flat earned it. So here we go, boom. 
you're gonna make that second section. And every time you make a section, the next section should get easier to make. So boom, there we go. Boom, we coming in right here, and we gonna come through, and we gonna add like a little band. We add one of these jokers right here. Boom, section right there. So boom, here we go. Smooth, there we go. Look at that section. Y'all ain't know she had hair like that. Look at that section, you see that? Boom. Now we got two sections. Now we just gotta do the back. And this, god dang, this, this might be more than two sections. You feel me? Damn, all right, so what we gonna do is we gonna follow that middle part. We gonna push that down. Let me see. Split that down, boom. Focus up, focus up, there we go. You know what I'm saying? Don't mind me, I'ma break a little bit of hair. She'll be all right. I'm in here playing with doll babies for y'all niggas, man. Y'all better be, man. All right, so we gonna get that section out the way, boom. Now, this is the following of another section right here. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So another section right here, boom. And they don't have to be 100% even, but they just gotta be even enough, you feel me? So uh, section right here. And the thing is, the length of your hair is gonna limit the range of your sections like i want to pull all this hair into the section but it's not long enough it's not gonna fit so really i'm gonna have to just do this much you know what i'm saying this much hair can kind of fit into the section man get, get the fuck what <laughs> there we go so here we go boom going right here we're gonna put this around just like this and we're gonna move that and we're gonna put that right in here so boom that's it right there all right so now we have three sections all right she's almost ready for the actual detangling to commence so boom we're gonna do this we're gonna work from the bottom there we go how about this come right here and we're gonna add this little section right here. Boom, we're gonna make this little bottom joint a section. Shut up. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't, don't look at that, I'm sorry. All right, so here we go, boom. Now we got this right here, you know what I'm saying? Right, by the way, I do not condone grown men playing with doll babies. I'm just trying, I'm just really trying to help y'all out. I'm losing cool points by the second here, but it's cause I want y'all to succeed and have great hair. So don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all, man. I sacrificed a lot for y'all, so here we go, boom. Last section right here, come through, boom, bap, bam. Now look at that, full sections right there. All right, I don't know what this piece of hair right here is. We gonna have to make that its own section. We gonna try to make that its own section, all right? So boom. And a lot of y'all got high tops where y'all ain't even, y'all cut the hair off the sides. You might got a taper. Shorty right here got a full head of hair. Ain't nobody tell about the front taper, the side taper, none of that stuff. She ain't that cool. So she got a full head of hair. So boom, this is sections, all right? I know it don't look like it, but this is what you want sections. And when I say detangle your hair, you are gonna go section by section to detangle this hair, right? Section by section. When it's time to do section you can do it detangle it then you can put this rubber band back on just like this and then you're gonna move to this section do all that that i'm about to show you then put a rubber band back on and then you're gonna move to the next section all right i really want y'all to understand that y'all got me in here playing with doll babies to help y'all detangle your hair all right so i'm gonna need y'all to drop likes in the comments subscribe to the channel i'm gonna need y'all to show some love just blow the comments up i need three comments i don't care what the comments say just put three comments put doll baby one times one times two times three because y'all got me doing some stuff i never thought i'd be doing to help y'all out now that we went over how to section the hair now i'm gonna go through what detangling actually is the act of detangling. Let's get to it. All right, so Samantha's ready for the next step. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that rubber band off and what I advise you to do is hop your ass in the shower. Wash your ass first, all right? First and foremost. Then wash your hair. Once you've done that, then you're gonna come over, you know what I'm saying, with the sections and you're going, you know what I mean? I want you to wet it with warm water. Wet your hair with warm water, follow it up with some nice, nice, nice conditioner that has slip into it, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 focus, focus, focus. There we go, focus, boom. Use that. And then you can come right here and I want you to finger detangle. Because all finger detangling is is rubbing your hands through it. Boom. Rub your hands through it. If you feel it not, don't push through it. Rub your hands through it, all right? This next one is a mistake I feel like a lot of you guys are making. Now, when it comes to detangling, I know for, for sure, a lot of you guys are just throwing this in there and y'all are just pulling it out. That's not player. That's not what we trying to do here, all right? What I want you guys to do is you're going to start with the ends of your hair and you're going to work your way down to the bottom. You feel me? You're going to start with the ends of your hair, boom, and you can go just like this. You're barely getting into the hair. And the reason why I snatch it like this is because this doll's head is actually dry. I'm not finna wet the doll's hair, but boom, it's going in like this, boom. You feel me? Boom. You know what I'm saying? You just getting the ends and then you can start getting into it. You know what I mean? Start getting into it. Yeah. Once we start getting into it, you know what I mean? Then you'll start getting lower. Then you can start getting closer and closer to the scalp. You know what I mean? You're going to start at the very ends and work your way down to the root. You know what I'm saying? Work your way down to the root. Now, don't start like this and try to pull all your whole way out. You know what I'm saying? You see how this is going? You see how much hair? Well, it's using a detangling brush, so it didn't cause a crazy amount of hair loss. But you see this? Boom, you see that? Boom, it's 
that's not what you want to do. Now, this is a great tool because she's not even losing a lot of hair by doing this. Dang, this is a really great tool. You're not, she's not losing a lot of hair at all, and I'm doing this wrong. You want to, ah, you want to make sure that you don't start that low. You want to make sure that you start midway through the hair and then work your way down. And once you work your way down, you should have less and less tangles. You feel me? Like right now, she's ready for whatever because her hair, is, you know what I'm saying, not as tangled. But anyway, start from the ends of the hair and work your way down. So we start right here, boom, boom, boom. Boom, and then once you get to the end, and you can go from the bottom of your scalp to the end of your hair in just one smooth stroke, pause, then you know that you really detangling, you know what I mean? And then what you gonna do is you gonna put that section up, and you gonna move on to the next section. It's quite simple, you know what I mean? Okay, so now I've shown you why you should detangle. I've showed you how to detangle. I've shown you what to use. I've shown you what to use to detangle your hair. Now I wanna talk about when you should detangle your hair. And I just wanna say, if you're an OG, if you're at the point where you're getting braids regularly, you're getting twists regularly, you know what I'm saying, where it's pretty much a hassle to leave your hair out until it you know what I mean? I think you should get your hair detangled, washed, conditioned, all that stuff, at least once a month. That's the schedule I'm on. Sometimes it's a month and a week, sometimes it's three weeks, but I try to stay on an average around that month period. Every 30 days, I'm getting my hair washed, detangled, and conditioned, and then redone, you feel me? It goes right back into the braids. That is an OG formula. If you're not a OG, like a year over, that's not your formula. That's for people who hair is a year and over, you know what I'm saying? You've been doing this, you know what's going on, or somebody else does your hair, so you don't want to be doing it every single week. That is the formula if you're a year or over, you know what I'm saying? That I consider that OG status, you know what I mean? Now, if you're a beginner level, that means beginner level means six months and under. Six months and under. Should nobody else really be doing your hair, you know what I mean? Because your hair is kind of too short for styles, so no, no one else should be washing your hair. You need to spend that time with your own hair so you know what's going on, you feel me? You gotta know yourself. Washing your hair is like putting lotion on your body, feeling your skin. You gotta know that you got skin. Or it's like scratching the hair on your ass, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do it so you really know that you're connected with yourself, you feel me? So you wash your own hair, and I would say you do that, detangle your hair once a week. Do it. I used to do it every Sunday. Every Sunday for like a year and a half, I detangle my hair, and my joint grew crazy, you feel me? That's if you're a beginner. All right, so now, some of y'all, curly hair game, curly hair game. Before every Every curl routine, I showed you earlier why you should do it. Before every curl routine, your hair must be detangled completely. The days that you rush to detangle your hair, all the days that your curls are gonna look like, mm, okay, he didn't do that great of a job, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna look like you rushed. The days you take your time are gonna be the days your curls are fired. And I don't care whether you do the shake method, the rape method, I don't care whether you on Juwan channel doing the finger curls, whatever, the finger coils, you know what I'm saying? If you don't detangle your hair, your curls will not be fired, you feel me? So before every curl, team be tangled. And lastly, man, this is for the guys with who still rock the Duke starting five cut, who might rock the messy high cut, I mean, the messy high top. Bro, before you go get your hair cut, detangle your hair, you know what I'm saying? If you got a messy fro, please detangle your hair before you get a haircut. Your barber is tired of having to pick through your hair. And you know what's gonna happen? He don't have time to be putting conditioner on your hair and doing all this that I'm telling you. He gonna grab that pick, run it through your dry hair, and he gonna Nah, 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 nah. Ended it all. He gonna just your growth is gonna be gone because you came to his chair. He got another head to cut in 45 minutes. He gotta get you up and out. So he gonna and you don't want it to happen. So make sure you go there and detangle, you know what I mean? You know that really neat afro, that perfect bold afro that's not in style, or that kind of perfect box high top that's not in style? That's what you want to look like going into the barbershop. You don't want sauce going into the barbershop. You want sauce coming out. You need to make sure your hair is completely detangled when you go get that cut, and he's going to do his little trim, shape it or whatever. Tell him you want a perfect afro. Tell him you don't want a messy look. And when you go home, when you wash your hair, put the conditioner in, you fluffing your hair is going to give you the messy look. You don't want the barber to give you the messy look. That's no, no, you hustling backwards. You want the barber to give you a clean cut. The hair should be precise, precise, even, no split ends, trim, shaped up. And when you go home, you go from this to this. You know what I'm saying? This is after conditioner, you done done all that. This is walking out the barbershop. So please, you guys, don't make these fatal mistakes, man. Or your hair length will show for it, you know what I mean? And I, I don't want to be that person to make it seem like I got a lot of long hair, but this is my hair, you know what I mean? And uh, one of the next videos I'm probably going to do is a five hairstyles for the beginning of 2023. Now that we're in Q4 2022. Because I done ran up a couple different hairstyles, man. And I want to put y'all on game, you know what I'm saying? Like this one right here. I explained what this is, how to get it, what type of length.
if you need to get it and the whole nine so man um y'all subscribe like the video leave a comment down below any questions and it's king brill that's all for this video man peace